Traversing a binary tree is also known as walking the tree. It's a way of systematically visiting every node in the tree in order to extract all of the data. Any node with children is treated as the root of a subtree, so traversal is best done recursively. There are three depth-first traversal strategies. These are pre-order, post-order, and in order. Which of these traversal strategies is best depends on the application. For example, you may want to access the leaf nodes as quickly as possible. Alternatively, you may want to retrieve the data according to its inherent sequence. When you compile code that was written in a high-level programming language, a complex mathematical expression may be converted into a special form of binary tree known as an expression tree. The processor may then traverse such a tree in order to evaluate the expression, but that's another story. So let's start by looking at pre-order traversal. With pre-order traversal, first we visit the root. Then we traverse the left subtree, followed by the right subtree. What does this look like? Well, here's a tree. With pre-order traversal, first we visit the root. Then we're going to examine the left subtree, starting with the root. And then we're going to examine its left subtree, starting with the root. Then the left, then the right. Now we can examine the right subtree of this root, starting with the root, then the left, then the right. Now we can examine the right subtree of this root, starting with the root, then the left subtree, starting with the root, then the left, then the right, and then finally the right subtree of this root, starting with the root, then the left, then the right. Let's consider pre-order traversal with a tree containing some data. This tree was built using the data shown above. It was presented in the order shown, starting with Lewis. An easy way to see how it comes out when we do a pre-order traversal is to put a dot to the left of each node, and then we follow the path indicated by these dots. First we encounter Lewis, then Chloe, then Imogen, then Harry, then James, and if we continue to follow the path, we then get Tracy, Rachel, and finally, Xavier. So this is the order of the data produced when we perform a pre-order traversal. To summarise then, pre-order traversal is known as a top-down traversal. We're encountering all of the roots before we encounter all of the leaves. How does this compare with post-order traversal? With post-order traversal, we begin by traversing the left subtree, then the right subtree, and lastly, we visit the root. So what does this look like? First, we're going to examine the left subtree, which itself has a left subtree. So we go left, right, root. Now we can examine the right subtree of this root. So, left, right, root. And now that we've examined the left subtree and the right subtree of this root, we can visit this root. Now we can move on to the right subtree of the main root. Starting with the left subtree, left, right, root. And now we can examine the right subtree, left, right, root. And since we've examined the left and the right subtree, we can examine the root. And now that we've examined the left and the right of the main tree, we can finally examine its root. So how does post-order traversal look with real data? This time we're placing a marker to the right of each node. Starting on the left, 
we follow the path given by these markers. So the first piece of data we encounter is Harry, then James, then Imogen, then Chloe. Notice how we're visiting the leaf nodes before we cover all of the root nodes. So this is the data order produced by post order traversal. To summarise, this is a bottom up form of traversal. We're encountering all of the leaves before we encounter all of the roots. The final way we can traverse a tree is in order traversal. In this case, we traverse the left subtree, then the root, and then the right subtree. Let's see how this looks. Left subtree, left subtree, left, root, right. We've done this side, so we'll move on to the root, and then we can do this side. Left, root, right. We've done this side, so we do the root. Now we're going to do this side. So starting with this left subtree, left, root, right. We've done this side. Let's do the root, and then the final side, left, root, right. So let's do it with some real data. We're putting a dot underneath each node this time, and again we're going to follow the path indicated by these dots. The first data out is Chloe, then Harry, Imogen, James, Lewis is next, Rachel, Tracy and Xavier. There's something very special about the order we've extracted this data in now. Notice that it's in alphabetical order. So to summarise, in order traversal retrieves the data according to its inherent sequence. Let's look at some pseudocode. Here's an algorithm for the pre order traversal of a binary tree. It will lead to some very elegant code. When this program is called for the first time, it's passed a pointer to the ultimate root node of the tree. The root is visited. In other words, data is collected from the root node. Then the program calls itself again, passing in a pointer to the left subtree. It treats every node in the tree as if it were itself the root of another tree. When the left subtree has been fully explored, recursive calls are made to explore the right subtree. This is what some equivalent pseudocode might look like. What we're actually passing in is the pointer to the root of the tree, P. We output the data from the data array given by this pointer, and then if the left pointer isn't zero, in other words, there is a left-hand subtree, we call pre-order again, passing in the current node's left pointer. Similarly, if the right pointer isn't zero, we call pre-order again, passing in the current node's right pointer. Here are algorithms for the pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal next to each other. They're very similar indeed. The only difference is when we visit the root. With pre-order, we visit the root first. With in-order, we explore the left subtree, then we visit the root, then we explore the right subtree. And with post-order, we explore the left subtree, followed by the right subtree, and then finally the root. So here are my three tree traversal routines in visualbasic.net. Here's the pre-order version, very much like the pseudocode. We're visiting the root here, and we're just concatenating the data onto an output string. And then here's the recursive call to visit the left tree, and the recursive call to visit the right tree. Post-order traversal is almost identical except we're visiting the root after we've explored the left and the right subtree. And then finally, the in-order version explores the left subtree, then we visit the root, and then the right subtree. I've got three button-click events here to call these routines. You can see when I call pre-order for the first time, I'm passing in a pointer to the root node, number one. Let's see this in action. I'll start by loading up my tree.
and now let's traverse it, beginning with pre-order. Now let's try post-order. And finally, in order, and we can see the data has come out in alphabetical sequence.